Good morning, guys. Today we're going in a very, very dangerous repair. That is this iMac 27 inch. The new models, as you guys can see, it's very, very, very thin screen. And the screen and the glass is glue. You know, they both is one part only. So, the old models, you can easily remove the glass and unscrew the screen. On these new models, you're gonna have to take the screen, remove the glue that is on sides. So before we remove it, let's check this machine, what this machine is doing. As you guys can see clear, there's a graph card problem. We don't need it, we'll keep the on open. Let me shut down the machine. So, first thing you're gonna have to do, remove of course the power cable. You're gonna need it like a something to put between the stand and the machine itself so you don't want this machine to keep it moving like that see i'm gonna use a pillow i'm gonna put a pillow over there you can use a, anything else you wanna but I, I you always use a pillow i pause the camera all right guys as you guys can see i put a pillow over there so the screen now is not moving so we we'll prevent the machine drop the screen when it's removed now you're gonna need a tool. There is a tool that you can buy online to remove the screen. That you put the tool around here, go with the tool, and it easily remove. I don't have this tool, so I'm gonna be using this braid here. So what I'm gonna do with this braid is you're gonna have to put the braid first in here. If you're careful, cut the glue, and then you're gonna gently slide the braid down and remove the glue of course i will have to hold the screen with two hands i'm using the mobile phone to do the video so you know i cannot do the both things at the same time hold the mobile phone and with the braid so you're going gently with the braid go and stop go if you see it's too hard stop start for the top again go slow go slow the whole part here is clear the braid is moving nicely Okay, that's done. And then go on top. Do the same thing with the braid. It's lower. Take your time. Don't go crazy. Don't think you're gonna do everything with one go. If you have the proper tool, yeah, you might be able to go and do it with one go. Okay? So be careful. Take time. This is a very dangerous skin to remove. You need to take your time. Do carefully. Take your time. Don't break the screen. The screen is about 400 pounds if you break it. It's a kind of a job, guys, you need to take a lot careful once again. You get a braid, you know, and you keep going, you know, keep it going, 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 keep it going. You see, get a little bit stuck here, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Once again, get the braid again, try again, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't do this with the braid, take, don't do that, you're gonna break the glass, trust me. Go slower. Slow, take your time, okay? Take your time, go slow, try again, do again, try again, do again. Right now, I did the all sides already. You go over here on top, look at that. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't worry, you will not hit no cables around here. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't you worry, go to the other side, make sure. Now is the danger part. Once a question is just going to walk in, I'm going to have to stop to do the video. As always, I have to deal with the costume and prepare the stuff. Okay. Alright guys, back again, costume left. Once again, I say to you guys, that's really bad environment to work. As a technician or engineer, whatever, you stop your job to deal with the costume, that's really bad. Sometimes I'm over there inside, fix some stuff, fix some other board, I have to stop my job to come deal with the costume. When I come back, I always ask myself, what the hell I was doing? Anyway, so now guys, that's the danger part. You see that? The screen is loose. See that? Look at that. The screen is loose. Look like it's loose. But you will not pull. You will not pull yet. You're gonna have to make sure that the screen is loose 100%. You don't wanna break in here. You don't wanna break in this corner. So you're gonna have to make sure the screen is loose. 100% sure. Right now, guys, can see here, I can pull it. And then the screen is loose. You see that? See that? But remember, we have a glue in here as well. That is the danger, danger, danger thing to do.
I'm gonna have to put the phone down because as you guys know, I cannot do with this thing with one hand. So we're gonna pause the camera. All right, guys, I check the corners. The corners look very loose. So the only glue now is on the back. First thing I'm gonna have to do is remove the two cables over there, see? LED cable and the LVDS cable. The cable that is going to the screen and the cable that is going to the backlight. You're gonna remove them with it carefully. And they're gonna start taking the screen out. As you guys can see, I removed the, the cables. And now, you see over there, on the screen, you're gonna get the blade, you're gonna cut the glue out from there to hit to the end, carefully, carefully, please carefully. This is screen break so easy. All right, guys, the screen has completely removed it. Suits for remove it. As you guys can see over there, that's the thing you have to cut to remove the other glue. Let's have a look on the screen. The screen's over there, put it right in safe place. As you guys can see, there is nothing broken on the screen. Perfect removal. Of course, guys, if you have a friend to help you to take the screen, would be nice. The reason why I do this on my own, because I have a lot of experience on this machine. So anyway, I was looking at this, what the hell is that? There is a tape in here. I did not touch that, okay? That's not my fingerprints. And there is like some scratch over there, see? Wow, look like Apple is losing their quality, look at this. A tape, that wasn't me, eh? Scratch. Of course, that's just, just a metal, but you know, fingerprints over there. But the question is, Apple is losing their quality, man, because usually you don't see a finger, a, a single fingerprint on the screen. Look at this, that was me as well. There's some fingerprints over there, you guys can see. Wow, 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 wow. Before, uh, you know, I, I, I thought Apple was doing this one with people with wearing gloves, clean room. Wow, nice. <laughs> um, so let's go back to the machine. All right, the machine. I have to zoom out. You're gonna have to remove this motherboard. As you guys know, to remove this motherboard, you're gonna have to remove everything, include the power supply as well. And the, the power supply is something I want, I want to talk about with you guys. You see this area here? You're gonna get shock. If, if you took out the power supply, you're going to get shock. You can discharge this power supply by using a resistor. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Five ohms for 10 watts or 20 watts resistor. If you put on the capacitor, you can discharge easily. You know what I mean? With a lamp as well, you can discharge with a lamp. You get the old school lamp, you know, the incandescent lamp, you can discharge the power supply. Right now, if I touch this power supply, I will get shocked. So be careful when you guys remove the screen, when you guys squat this place around, don't touch your hand on the power supply, or you're gonna get shocked. So then we're gonna have to remove everything, remove the big speaker over there, take out the motherboard, the fan, everything. That is a pain in the back job. Nobody likes to do the job. The graphic card is in here, as you guys know. Let me get the motherboard in here. I broke my board for this machine. That is this one here. Just took out so you guys can have it here. I don't think this one, maybe it's exactly the same, I guess. Yeah, look like the exact same board. As you guys can see here, the place the board is going is there, exactly there. So that's our target is here. The graphic card there. This one is our target, sorry. That's our, that's this is the CPU. That is our target, that GPU over there. That is an NVIDIA, like this one here. Now we're gonna have to take every single screw out, remove this board out. It's a really, 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 really pain in the back job. So yeah, I'm gonna take this one to inside, to my place, and then I'm gonna open up. Maybe I'm gonna open up in here. You, you know my place back there is very small, and this machine is very big anyway. All right, guys, so after you remove some couple of screws, power supply, be careful over there, don't touch the fan. Move the speaker a little bit out. Now you can take the motherboard out, of, of, take the screws, of course. 
you're gonna have to remove of course the hard drive cable connector the SATA cable connector and then it's so hard to do this with one hand guys trust me Done. and then you can easily safely remove the motherboard there we go that's the motherboard now and there is the ship you're going to have to work with now the machine looks like this <laughs> Oh my god, why? Why they make this machine so hard to open? So hard to work with. Oh boy. Put this machine down here. I'm gonna get my old school drives. I'm gonna remove the heat sinks over there. And then we're gonna see what's going to happen here. Oh boy, I hate the job. I hate, I hate, I just hate doing the job. Now is when the nightmare begins. So, I'm gonna have to remove that screws over there. That screws over there. And that screws over there. Just to take out the heat sink. Perfect. Alright guys, after we remove the few screws over there. <laughs> now we can take the heat sink. <coughs> oh my god man. Oh look at that. The CPU is coming together with the heat sink. That's amazing. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna have to take a lot of careful to don't get the socket over the dirt, you know. That's nice, man. Look at that. Oh my god, man. What a rubbish. So, our target is that GPU over there. That's our target over there. You can see the memory. Wow, this board looks like different than my one. I think this board is a normal board. You see, you see my board over there? Wow, way better, man. This board here, guys, was stretched by a lightning. Yeah, a lightning strike this board. But look at this. Look at the GPU, man, over there. Massively nice. This one is a common GPU, man. That one over there is probably one gig or two gig of memory around. And the, the GPU is way better than this on this board for the customers. All right. Well, as you guys know the drill, I'm going to clean the, the thermal paste on top. I'm going to remove the, the glue on the sides. And going to the reflow. That's gonna be a hard one reflow for sure. This one gonna be a pretty hard one reflow. Very funny, man. The quality. <laughs> See the board over there? Massive GPU. A lot of memories for the GPU. And this one, only the. That's more thing. The good thing, guys, about this machine, you see over there? Here. You can put the SSD card, guys. If you wanna you put the SSD card here for them to you put your 256, put the system here, pop, gonna load so fast. Or one terabyte if you have the money. <laughs> Alright, let me clean this thing up and go to the next stage that has fixed the board. Alright guys, now it's time to remove the pads. As you guys know, you have to remove the pads always. You see over there? The pads, we're gonna have to remove the pads of everybody. <laughs> remove the BIOS battery as well and the Wi Fi card as well, <laughs> okay, just in case they're over there. Remember to remove that. Now you guys know how to remove the pads. I'll show you guys in my other videos. You have to go, you have to heat up the pad. You will see the pad, you will change the color. When the pad change the color, as you guys can see over there, it's ready to be removed. Of course, I will not do this with the camera, hold the camera, because I have only two hands. So I'm going to remove the pad right now. Alright guys, after we remove the pads, now we're going to phase two. That is, clean the board underneath, you know, clean underneath the chips, memories, bit, um, GPU. Look how many guys, look guys, how many pads. <laughs> so after clean here guys, I'm gonna blast with my air compressor underneath the chips to make sure everything's clean so they're gonna put the flux. Alright guys, we flux up. So now it's time to put uh, the protect on top of the core and you put the board over there. On that beautiful not working well machine, <laughs> rework machine. So let's put the protector here on top of the, the ship and let's put it over there and do the rework on this board I hope everything work fine because the customer is a nice person now and they don't want the customer buy a new motherboard so let's hope it works 
All right, guys, right now the board is over there on the heat sink. There you go. Let me focus the camera. You can see I put a little SMC on top of the car. We don't want the car get badly. So we're going to wait for the thing to get hot. So then as you guys know, we're going to put the top element on top, the heat element on top. And you're going to see the ship moving and then the rework will be done. Right now the machine says on the preheat mode, 81%. I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> 8, 8 cells, 7, 9 cells. You know, this read is not right. Anyway, let's see what's going to happen. All right, as you guys can see, start the bubble underneath the ship. The flux over there. Start the bubble. Now it's time to make it work. I'm going to put the second heat element. Let's pray for the best. All right, stop it now. Nothing is going to get really hot over there. And of course, you can see the smoke that comes from the flux. It's going to take some time, you have to see if the ship is going to move. No, ship is still steady. Nope. You have to tap very carefully, guys. Otherwise, it's going to move the ship for good. And if you move the ship too hard, ship move out, I'm going to have to take the ship and rebow. The reason why we don't need to rebuild the ship because there is no liquid corrosion underneath. So I pre I know the buzz underneath is nice, just have a loose connection. Nope. Type it gently. No, ship is still standing. Ship is still standing. You guys can see the smoke going very, very strong over there. I want to see the ship move. When the ship moves, say yeah. No, ship is still standing. Ship is still standing. Now ship is moving, as you guys saw it. Now it's time to cool down. Now we're gonna have to let to cool down. Then we're gonna clean, take the flux out, and put the machine back together. Hopefully it's going to work. As you guys saw it, the ship is moving. That means the balls underneath the ship, all balls melted. So if it was a loose connection, everything's back again, soldering between ships and the board. Alright guys, now it's time to remove the flux from the board. I'm going to use the finish because it's the best one to remove flux. I always use the finish to remove flux from the board. You remove that from the board to make it all clean, very clean, beautiful job. So I put some finish on there on top. I'm going to let it for a little bit of time. And then I'm going to give a little brush. And then I'm going to use my air compressor to blow up the liquid underneath the ship and the memories. When you do that, the liquid go out, the flux going out as well, and then underneath the ship and the memory will be very clean, the way it should be. So take your time, put the fins and take your time. Alright guys, we're now gonna clean this heat sink there. We're gonna remove this old ferro paste. I already brought the screws to put you back on the board. The board's drying. So we're gonna have a look if this thing going to work nice. I hope it works guys because I don't wanna open this machine at all. I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna put this screen. If it doesn't work, I will not try to do anything else. I cannot get hold for the GPU. I'm gonna have access to the caution buy a board so we can replace the board. But before that, hopefully this machine is going to be working again. I hope so. Because this machine is pain on the back to open. Alright guys, the board now is very clean, as you guys can see, there is no more flux, there is no flux on the board at all, nothing burned on the GPU, you can see the GPU is beautiful, no bubbles on top, the resistor, you have to take a lot of care for guys, the resistors, when you remove the, the rubber 
pads on the side of the chip, you have to take a lot care for you not knock out the resistors. Right now, by looking nice, as you can see, the other side of the board, there is no stress, there is no burning stress, everything beautiful, shiny and silver. So, we're gonna put the thermal paste on top of the GPU now, and we're gonna put the heat sink back, we're gonna build the machine, hopefully this machine is going to work. Alright guys, CPU is over there, with the thermal paste, that will expand, that's why I put the heat sink on top. <coughs> GPU over there as well is ready. We have as well the heat sinks very clean. Just wait for the screws. I'm gonna put the battery already back in to save him some time. I'm gonna have to put the stupid Wi Fi as well over there. Oh boy. Alright, guys, put everything back together. The heat sink, everything. Wi Fi card. And now it's time to put this board back in and see if it's going to work. I hope so, guys, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna tell the customer he, she's gonna have to buy a new motherboard. Alright, now it's time to put everything back together. Oh boy. Screws, power supply, motherboard, ah, and the computer itself. I would, you know, if I was a, uh, the customer, I would exchange the hard drive for the SSD right now because of then they need to glue the screen again. These stickers, as you can see over there, I will have to remove every single one, man. Every single one. And then remove also from the from the screen over there every single stickers and you put a double tape and you put some glue as well you know to hold up. That's a really 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 hard job. I don't like to do this machine at all. Anyway, let's keep it going. Alright guys, both is back together, plus the as well. Every single screw is back together, Wi-Fi cables on, the speaker cables on as well. Yeah, everything looks like cool. It. Cool, cool, cool. So now I'm gonna try put the screen myself. That's the danger thing to do. Really danger. Before I put the screen, I'm gonna remove the sticker here, just in case, so the screen can hold it here better. I'm gonna put my pillow here, so you don't want the machine to keep doing this. I'm gonna remove the sticker very well now. Then we're gonna put the screen, we're gonna give it a test. I hope the machine works, guys, because if not, of course, we're gonna have to buy a motherboard for sure. All right, guys, remove the Stickers from the back. <coughs> you guys, for the down part over there, remove the sticks. You guys are gonna have to remove that ones as well later. So, I'm gonna put something here to protect. If the screen falls, will not hit the glass, will be safe. So, I'm gonna put something here just to protect. To avoid any, any disasters, guys, I put the duvet here just to protect if the screen slide down gonna hit the duvet it will not break it in the past i broke a screen when i was trying to put it back in it's come out here tuk, and it broke it yeah guys that was really really bad one because i have to pay for that for the screen you now so now i'm making sure to protect every single thing guys just to avoid any problem so let's put the screen back in let's see if the machine is going to work so see you put the pill over there so the machine will not move it and then you protect very well the area if you by accident the screen slide down we're hitting here and it will not break all right guys look at that so many fingerprints <laughs> uh, of course we can clean that one later i put two tapes you know as you can see two pieces of tape just, just to prevent if you by accident do this the screen will not come out Right now, the screen is not glue. I just put the screen so we can test. Hopefully, this machine is gonna work. Let me get the power cable here on the floor. If it works, nice one for the customer. If it doesn't work, my friends, I'm gonna be really, really sorry for the customer. He's gonna have to buy new motherboard. Uh, it's too hard. Even to put the cable, it's hard, guys. Okay, cables put back in, guys. Machine is coming on now. So many fingers. <laughs> Oh, there you go. We have a, a, a good apple right now. We don't have the, you know, a lot of colors like it was before. 
Let me see if I can clean this screen better so you guys can have a proper look. Later on, you can get a tissue and clean the screen. You don't have to be worried about clean screen right now, guys. This you can do later. But right now, I want to see if you're gonna get the login. Look like it's okay. Doesn't look like, like you have a problem. But we have to go and check in this system. Of course, I'm gonna boot with my external hard drive anyway to make sure everything's working fine. You see, guys, going slow. You see, that's why if if I was the customer, I would buy one terabyte SSD hard drive and put and replace the mechanical hard drive. The machine is already open now, so I'm gonna ask if the customer have, uh, have any interest, so I can change the hard drive. Jesus Christ, I wanted this for today, computer. As you guys also know, the probability for the system to be crashed is bigger. Because you now you have graph card issue, blah, blah, blah. Or I don't even know if you have hard drive working. Maybe the machine could be dropped as well. That's why I make the GPU come out. So yeah. All right, boom! There you go, guys. Look like working nice. What I'm gonna do now, guys? I'm gonna lo log out. I'm gonna log with my <coughs> my hard drive, so then I can put the password. All right, guys. To do now, proper test. Look what I got. My external hard drive, as you guys know. So we're gonna boot from the hard drive, and then we're gonna have a look. I can the screen a little bit, <laughs> and then we're gonna have a look if we can see everything nicely. Hold the key over there, my nice Apple keyboard. <laughs> Let's see if we're gonna pick up my hard drive. There we go. But you guys can clearly see now we don't have the red color that was before. Let me get my hard drive and boot for my hard drive. The reason why I like to boot for my hard drive, as you guys know, I don't have to get in touch with the customer's data. I use my external hard drive that protects the customer data, I don't need to see customer files, don't need to open customer things so I use my external hard drive so I can boot into the system and check, I'm trying to give a little clean on the screen guys because it's too many, too much <laughs> many fingerprints on the screen up, up, up the main time the bar is loading that's okay later on I'm gonna clean with the tissues anyway that tape is very crucial put that tape guys just in case if you guys boop, move the machine as you guys know with the <coughs> we will take time to boot in as you guys know the usb but now what's the funny thing my usb is boot faster than the customer hard drive it looks like the customer should change the you know the customer should take the opportunity and change the mechanical hard drive to the ssd hard drive because we have the screen open now and then we put everything back together. No need to do nothing. Now I can get inside the system and check this machine. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take a look at this about this Mac. Yeah, everything looking cool. About this Mac. Pa, 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 pa. There you go, guys. And Nvidia GeForce, as you guys can see over there. Oh, one gig of memory. For the NVIDIA. Yeah, there you go guys. The serial number is FAJ4. The exact serial number on the back. We're gonna check it the last one. Yeah guys, fix it. Repair. Now I'm gonna ask the customer if she wanna buy the the SSD hard drive and you put it to the machine so then you know the machine gonna be way faster and you, you take the opportunity because the machine is open. As you guys saw in the video, hope this machine is really pain, pain, really pain. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna check before I close the video. Uh, we're gonna check this the serial number just to confirm that is the same board because we left the face. Just gonna wait the machine to shut down, and then I'm gonna ask uh, my friend to give my hand to spin this machine so we can have a look. Oh, and take this cable out, take the hard drive out. Funny. Sonny? Yes, sir. Can you do a favor, please? Yeah, of course I can. Can you please just turn the machine? I will not get your face, don't worry. What do you want me to do, Paul? Just help me 
Yeah, get the machine like that. I want to get the the signal number. Hold, 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 hold. Go on. Hold. Oh my God, my hand. Okay, guys, let's check the signal number. If it's the same. There you go, guys. Signal number, signal number. There you go. There you go, guys. F. You see that over there? The exact signal number board has not been changed, not be changed. As you guys know, was a repair done in this board. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and. It if you're gonna do that, do with a lot of care because if you break that screen, you're gonna cry.